This is the first guidance film uh, for the first of the two context videos from the British 2000 Years in the Making series uh, from Sky. This is episodes for uh, Dirty Money. In this particular lesson, what I want you to do is work your way through the particular film. Now, it kicks in from 8 minutes 17 seconds after the Great Fire of London, the rebuilding of St Paul's Cathedral, and it looks at how London recovered and how the country subsequently recovered. As you work your way through then, these are the principal imports, tea, coffee and sugar. Where are they from? As trade evolves, but society develops mechanisms and means of mitigating the risks attached to trade and the development of the empire. Britain develops um, several financial institutions. The Bank of England, insurance and stocks and shares. I want to know how each one in turn helped uh, the United Kingdom, the Great, uh, Great Britain, develop her economy and subsequently her empire. We then move on to the South Seas Company, what the South Sea Bubble was, and then the first example of boom and bust capitalism, the South Sea Bubble. Compare that with your knowledge from the Year 12 course of the Wall Street crash. Maybe thinking about Niall Ferguson's uh, cycle of economic prosperity. Then as we move our way down, we look at the development of slavery and subsequently the development of the ideas of liberty and emancipation, bearing in mind that these ideas of liberty and freedom would have consequences for later on when Britain moves away from slavery. It will not um, apply those rules also to its colonies in the United States. And then we look at the military consequences of the growing economy, the development of the Royal Navy and Britain's conflict with France and Spain. And we look at the Battle of Trafalgar, Nelson's tactics, and subsequently how the back victory at Trafalgar in 1805 consequently establishes the Pax Britannica. As you work your way through this particular activity, please take advantage of the timeline at the bottom to become familiar with the key dates that are landmarks in this particular course.